Good morning and welcome to the MSSRF Millennium Lecture Series. Uh, today we have with us an eminent guest, Professor S. Gauri. He is the Vice Chancellor of the University of Madras. Uh, welcome uh, to MSSRF, Professor Gauri. Uh, and uh, we look forward to hearing from you on the topic, the role of online media in science, education and development. Um, we also have with us uh, Dr. Madhura Swaminathan, she's the chairperson of MSSRF, and Dr. G.N. Hariharan, who's the executive director of MSSRF with us today. Um, we have uh, people joining online as well, uh, who, can, uh, who will also be um, uh, listening to this lecture. Um, so I think first uh, we will uh, have uh, Dr. Hariharan, uh, we will only, uh, Dr. Hariharan, who will welcome uh, Professor Gauri and facilitate him. Thank you. As a token of our affection, I request chairperson to honor the vice chancellor with a shot. Thank you very much. Yes. Respected Vice Chancellor, Professor Gauri, Vice Chancellor, University of Madras, um, Dr. Madhura Swaminathan, Chairperson, MSSRF, distinguished guest from the University of Madras and neighboring institutions, um, our staff and uh, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me immense pleasure to stand before you and give this uh, welcome address to this uh, distinguished speaker of the day, Professor Gauri. You know, we tried to get him on several uh, dates, but due to his busy schedule, it slipped and today it is happening. Thank you very much, sir. In the midst of your busy schedule, you are, you are with us. And, uh, you know, we sent the invitation and uh, I'm extremely grateful to Chairperson MSSRF for uh, scheduling this meeting and uh, also have Professor Gauri with us today. And um, to many of you, uh, she wears many hats, out of which she is also the review committee member of the NAC committee. So she has a strong association with the universities of our, of our country. And from that background also, she is very much aware about the work that is happening in the University of Madras and so on. So she said, we should have uh, this kind of a seminar in the foundation so that we can understand. And uh, this is one occasion, sir. We wanted to forge our collaborations with the University of Madras and with your guideship, with your uh, you know guidance, we will be in a position to really you know make it more happening. And um, many of the uh, senior professors of University of Madras, to name uh, you know Professor Devraj, who is earlier served as the uh, UGC vice chair, and Professor Madhi Madhivanan, uh, Professor Muniraj, and others are with us today. And uh, this shows their uh, willing, uh, their keen interest in um, associating with MSSRF and take the you know touch forward. And um, from the foundation side, and um, many of our uh, faculties are all recognized by the University of Madras. Sir, I also take a few more minutes to tell about the close relationship with MSSRF and the University of Madras. Um, you know, we have a long-standing association with the University of Madras. Many distinguished vice chancellors, you know, today is the occasion where you are participating with us. Earlier, many of the distinguished vice chancellors have visited and participated in MSSR of key functions. Uh, many of our staff members are graduated from the University of Madras. You know, today morning, Professor is mentioning to the Honorable Vice Chancellor, he himself is the alumni of uh, University of Madras. And uh, University of Madras recognized MSSR of as a research center in the year 1995. So. Right from the inception, we are one of the recognized center. Currently, nine of the MSSR, MSSR of staff members, our are, are, uh, faculty are recognized by the University of Madras as PhD guides. And this has culminated in the uh, public, you know, 
um, recognition lead to the graduation of 70 students, PhD students receiving their degree from the University of Madras and uh, around 280 publications so far from this center. And uh, um, these subject areas are biodiversity and biotechnology, biodiversity conservation, economics, and uh, this is the three first uh, you know, subjects we got recognized. Now there is a, you know, we need to expand and much, many more uh, areas we need to collaborate and uh, move ahead with. Uh, with respect to the uh, Millennium Lecture Series, I wanted to touch down upon. This is one of the important seminar series of the foundation. And um, um, right from the start of the Millennium, many lectures have been uh, given, out of which I will just mention, you know, just to get the glimpse of uh, the kind of speakers and the topics what uh, they have touched upon. That's what I wanted to, you know, give you a glimpse of uh, uh, the previous um, speakers as well as their topics. In 2016, Her Excellency, Mrs. Uh, Bibi um, Garib Fakim, she is the Honorable President of Mauritius. She was here and she her topic was challenges and opportunities for Mauritius through the lens of a changing climate. In 2017, we have the CMD of the Mitsubishi Corporation, and uh, he delivered the lecture Mitsubishi's Corporation Initiative to Ensure Sustainable Growth. In 2018, we had Dr. Matthew Morel, who is the DG of the IRI, and uh, he gave the um, top, his topic was IRI Rise Agenda for People and the Planet. And 2019, Building Resilience in the Face of Coming Natural and Socioeconomic Stocks none other than by Dr. Ismail Saragaldin, the, uh, the uh, World Bank's chief and so on. So these are all the luminaries who have already given the lecture. And today in this series, I am, we are all excited to listen to you, sir. And uh, to, you know, to energize your seminar, I request our chairperson, Dr. Madhra Swaminathan to chat this session and moderate the uh, whole event. With this few words, I welcome one, uh, one and all. And today, you know, just we also have the pleasure of having the registrar with us. And I welcome you, sir, for this uh, wonderful meeting. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Yeah, now may I request the Vice Chancellor to give his uh, talk first, and then uh, we can have the, yes, yes. And uh, I'm sorry, I forgot. There are a lot of visitors, including many of our trustees joining in the online, uh, through online. And I also welcome all of you to be, uh, you know, to this particular important meeting. You know, before I, um, you know, request uh, Honorable Vice Chancellor to be with, uh, you know, to uh, to come here. It's my, all, it's my pleasure uh, to introduce him as well. Professor Gauri is currently the Vice Chancellor of University of Madras. He obtained his uh, engineering degree from the Tyagaraja College uh, of Engineering, Madurai. Subsequently, he obtained his MTech doctoral degree from IIT Madras. Dr. Gauri also a postdoctoral fellow of the uh, Nanyang Technological University, Singapore. He has rich teaching experience of 37 years and served as the director of the Educational Multimedia Research Center, EMMRC, at the Anna University, Chennai. Under his directorship, the uh, center won two national awards consecutively from the Ministry of Inform Information and Broadcasting, New Delhi. He has received the national award for outstanding academics in the year 2011 from the Indian Society of Technical Education, New Delhi. Dr. Gauri is also a visiting professor at NTU and other universities abroad. His areas of research, uh, research interests include development of technical educational system, precision mecha um, mechanicking, rapid prototyping, PEA, biomedical engineering, medical image analysis, and shape memory uh, alloys, etc. So, with this brief introduction, may I request you to please join us on the stage. Good morning. All glory to Almighty.
எல்லா புகழும் இறைவனுக்கு இட்ஸ் மை கிரேட் பிளஷர் அஸ் வெல் ஹானர் டு பி ஹியர் ஃபார் ஹேவிங் அக்செப்டட் த கேன் இன்விடேஷன் ஃப்ரம் திஸ் ஃபவுண்டேஷன் எஸ்பெஷலி த பர்சனல் இன்விடேஷன் ஃப்ரம் தி ஃபாதர் ஆஃப் இந்தியன் அக்ரிகல்ச்சர் அண்ட் ஃபாதர் ஆஃப் Indian Green Revolution, Dr. Mangambu Sambasivan Swaminathan, about 97 years old. Just now I met him and got his blessings. And I personally thank Dr. Hari Haran and his team who came and invited me to give a talk on online education and its role in science and its development. first i stated because i am a technocrat that's why i insisted on the cv to be red because you should not think that i am a great scientist like you so i am an engineer basically mechanical however i i can share some experience my talk was scheduled yesterday but because of the other commitment there was a carry fair organized by the hindu they asked the government to nominate a person to inaugurate it and my name was given that's why i got an excuse from dr hari haran that i can come today and give the talk on this i'm very thankful to madam madhura swamina madhura and uh, hari haran and other members how keenly be here to watch or listen to the talk on how the online education i am i'm very happy to see my mentor like brother like friend my mentor professor hale gowd and devraj and our own colleagues the former registrar madhivanan professor ak munirajan and the current registrar professor ilango nilachami and other faculty members and researchers and students who are here and who are listening to the talk through net connectivity today we talk about connectivity rather than the connection when we read the ramayan valmi says you know very well for the 14 years rama his wife sita and lakshman went to forest dandakarinya forest and they spent about 12 years in chitrakoot so on the first day of the visit to the forest lakshman decided he should not sleep and he had his wife urmila because most of them most of us don't know urmila because everyone talks about sita and she was unsung heroine or unspoken heroine in ramayan urmila but urmila also wanted to accompany lakshman i also come with you they had two kids he said no i have to look after my brother and his wife if he come then the job will not be perfectly done so he be here so he there he decided on the first day he should not sleep for 14 years he decided in his mind that he should not sleep for 14 years he prayed to nidra devi that's what he says and the same evening urmila said when my husband is not here i should sleep for 14 years continuous 14 years valmi says they were connected by heart what he thought what she thought coincides and responded that means that is called connectivity it is not only the connection but there is a communication we connect a printer with the computer and you give a command print the printer should immediately print if there is a paper and the cartridge if the command says that printer could not be found we may wonder that the printer is next to the computer how the computer cannot see the phone. because the communication is not there even though they are next to each other connected with each other but connectivity is not there so connectivity is the communication ability to communicate like that that urmila decided not to 
wake up, sleep for 14 years. And what we still say is, on the 14 years she was sleeping, what she was doing was yoga nitra. That means 14 years a person is sleeping means become unhealthy. But she was a healthy woman. Out of the 14 years when they returned to Ayoti, they received welcome means she was a healthy woman. That yoga nitra says, the yoga, today is international yoga day, but the Ramayana says that yoga nitra was practiced during the Ramayan period itself. So maybe a coincidence that I want to convey this. So let us talk about the connectivity and the online education. When there is no connectivity, there is no online education. And online education is not the absolute education. Just like they gave me a book, Palli Halil Uta Chatti. Kodukinda Satti Gododu, Una Voda Uta Chatti. Additional nutrition. Like that, whatever the education we have, this will be given additional vitamin, additional nutrition to that. That means it's an augment. My mentor used to say, Google cannot replace gurus. Still, I remember, Rana, I remember the, when you were the UGC vice chairman, you used to say, was to listen. When there was a convocation in the Anna University, when he was a vice chairman, he gave that uh, talk with this, Google cannot replace gurus. That is a wonderful punch word. Still, I remember. That means everyone depends on Google, but Google is not completely reliable. But however, it gives many of the informations which are reliable. That means it will augment. So the online education will augment the actual education or the classroom education. I was educational multimedia director of EMMRC, one of the 21 EMRs in the country. When he was a vice chairman, he was the chairperson of all the EMMRCs. You knew very well about that, what we were doing it. What it was in 2012, within about six months, we started working for that. Then it became, in the second year itself, it became the one of the top three. Even Mars is in the country, he knows very well. Like that, we worked for this. I took uh, this uh, I chancel post on 21st of August, 2020. <clears throat> we worked for that. And you may know that on the 8th of this month, June, the QS Quakurali Simon, the world ranking, global ranking agency announced that we are the 547th rank, the Madras University in the world. And India, it is the 12th and South India, it is the first. We work for that. And that is mainly because of the citation index and the research of the professors in the science that says, I don't say that other people did not work but their main contributions to the science. So what I say, the science is an important thing in everywhere because science directly in touch with the human life in all forms, whether it is a health, whether it is a food or environment, anything without science. We say, I'm an engineer, but the engineering is an applied science. For us, the basic science is we studied physics, chemistry, everything we studied. That's why you could become engineers like this. So the science and the scientific contributions help the mankind to have a peaceful and happy, healthy life. You know, very well during this pandemic, the pandemic gave a sort of a, sometimes it's, we, I used to feel it is a blessing in disguise because even before that we were doing this video lectures, we are producing video lectures, number of video lectures, Previgyan television channels, UGC television channels, but there were very few clients for that. I mean, viewers for that. Many of them did not view at all. No one knew that importance like this. But we were still producing it. And there was a MOOC's massive open online course and direct to home television channels like that, many things. I myself have produced for seven MOOCs courses and 1,547 e-modules with experts like this. But there was no takers for that. I was wondering who will listen to that. Then when this pandemic came, the first and the worst affected was education. They didn't know what to do with the children, whether the children can play, even they want to play, they can go, go outside, how long they can watch the TV. So at the time, this online education came as a panacea, life elixir to them, to the teachers, as well as to the students. At the time, whatever we produced got a reshape and remodel like this. Whether believe it or not, 
in 2020 march i remember when 17 or 18 was announced there will be lockdown the word lockdown was entirely new for us until then most of them never had a we had a only lockup lockup was in police system it was their lockdown was never heard at all what was lockdown like this then it's closed the shops will be open vegetable shops morning seven o'clock to 12 o'clock we are rushing many of us spend in front of the vegetable shops only or these the grocery shops only but in Anna University, there were three departments working. One is the register office, and the vice chancellor, and there was a EMMRC. We were working and producing, translating how the pandemic can be faced and what are the measures for it. Like then, many videos we produced, gave it to the government of India. Even our Prof. Devaraj knew very well. He also visited once. Oh, Gauri, you are working during the pandemic. Let me see like that with Lamanta Kashan. I invited him to be there. So we produced like this and gave new video lectures, everything, dubbing, translation into English and Tamil, from English to Tamil or other regional languages like this, or video lectures were released like this. So at that time, all our video lectures, the education models got immense value and people started working and many universities started using them as a part of the syllabi for their courses like this. That's how the online education got its life and importance during this. But now people have come to know that it is very convenient. But during the time, many school children and the teachers were starting on the online education. There was not much training was given. For a teacher, how to teach in online, no training was given. For the students also, no training because there is no room or no time to give training at all. They were Everyone, the teacher was at her home or his house and the students were in the home. Only they were connected by this web, the connectivity was there. So whatever was taught, they were to listen and like this. And there were many things and the teacher and the student does not want just to mute. That's why when the normals returned, the student went to the school, the mother asked and the, school, the kid came from the school. How was your experience today in the real education classroom after the online education. She said, the kid said, mom, it's very interesting. I saw my friends, we chat and played. My teacher was there, hugged. And she started taking class. I felt bored, but I, I didn't know how to mute her in the classroom. <laughs> so that was the advantage what they had when they didn't like, they can mute, go to the next channel, just like you change from one channel to other channel to watch a film or something like this. But at the same time, this online education had some lacuna, the problems that uh, socialization and interactivity, interactions, and a sort of a contributions and evaluation become difficult. When we, have, uh, when we implemented this online evaluation system, almost everyone passed. And when they go with the grade, oh, you are the COVID candidate, COVID student, COVID passed like this only. Then later the students felt, no, no, no more online education, when we were announced the online education last semester, the students were, many students didn't want, no, no, it should be a regular evaluation system. Now, this year on, this time onwards, this month onwards became the regular, or people say offline, but it's a regular mode of education or evaluation like this. But however, this online education through this uh, web connectivity has a lot of ample advantages. That's why the government of India has instituted the massive open online course, MOOCs courses, and other type of uh, direct to home television. Just like you are watching a television, you can listen to the video lectures of experts. There are about 33 channels by MHRD available. And when I was in the university, Anna University, I got the channel number 10. You can go home and you are, if you have a dish at the antenna, you can tune your TV to the HD channels, one, two, three, four, like this. Variety of subjects, all the 24 hours are available. No examination, nothing. It is just to enhance. It is totally free. But if you say the course are EDAX, or Khan Academy, what are available in US, they are paid channels. You have to pay for that. But Government of India, under the Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, with the UGC, when he was there, Professor Devaraj was there, they devised a system that it should be made free. So the MOOCs and everything is made free. Only thing you have to go and register with your mobile number and your email. Then you can listen to video lectures of experts 
And if you want to write the exam, you have to pay a small fee and get the certificate, write the exam, get the certificates. So like that, we produced a number of such channels, number of educational models. I told you I produced seven MOOCs courses, but when the MOOCs courses was to be introduced, the takers were less. At the time, there was Professor Dreisami, the Vice Chancellor of University of Madras, I approached him. First time he was a bit reluctant to take up that. Then I asked Professor Devraj, why don't you recommend? Then I got then four subjects on computer science, database management, data structures, operating system, and software engineering. Because I produced, that's why even I remember the titles and everything. And I asked them, and he allowed it, it's available. Even it is today, it's available. Those who want to register, get a grade for that, most welcome. And that is a transferable. That's called credit transfer. If you're studying in Punjab University and you can register here and take the credit from here, you can transfer it that UGC has permitted with this. That's called credit transfer system like that. So in this way, this online education has given ample opportunities to access the classroom facilities and get the expertise of various scientists and other learned professors and Nobel laureates throughout the world. There may be some other place, but you will be able to get their lectures and guidance through online. So the online is very much helpful in this way. That's why I used to say today's the classrooms. Classroom is dangling from the, today's online education. Our education is dangling from the classroom to the cloud. Like that, through the cloud, we can do that. When you say the cloud, people, they may think that there is a cloud is something new. I set up something connectivity in Ramayan, like that. There is in Bible also. I think there may be a Bible readers, holy Bible readers. Anybody here? Bible readers, Christians. I should not ask Christians. Bible readers, yeah. Ah, he's here. So, name, sir? Rajamanika, okay. The Bible, it says, the Moses was doing meditation or a prayer to Lord on Sinai Mountain. Am I right? New or okay, Sinai Mountain prayed for that because the world should be renovated or something like that. A lot of unwanted things are going on. So, what the Bible says, Holy Bible says, and the Lord answered the Moses' prayer. And the Lord, through his two fingers, in this gap of the two fingers, he dropped two tablets made of stones. Kalpalahi. One of two stones, he dropped that two tablets, and each tablet had five statements like that, ten statements that we say in Bible, ten commandments, Patakatalekal. So that was a first cloud data came from Lord through the cloud by our tablet. Today we talk about the tablets. Like this, today we talk everything in cloud. The cloud is a wonderful concept. And with the use of the cloud, a lot of education universities, even now, we are also going to implement this uh, cloud-based online education for the distant education. UGC has nicely put the word, no more distant education, it is an online education. So when this online education comes, the geographical border problem will not be there. From anywhere, you can access, have access to any university, study, and come like this. So that is a wonderful blessings of this online education. And many universities have already started and University of Madras also in the final stage of implementing. In this, there are many new courses are going to be made available to interested learners. The learners may be students as well as teachers. Through this, we'll be able to contribute. So in the aspect of science, we can have still many facilities, many opportunities. We can go for experimentations and experiment details, everything like this. Today we talk about this Zoom meeting, or we say webinar, Zoom meeting, or uh, club, what is it called, GeoMeet, or something like this. But well before this, when it came, in the year 2004, we had a project with the European Union. I was a coordinator for that, European Union funded project. That's called Virtual laboratories on mechatronics for remote access. Virtual laboratories on mechatronics for with uh, remote access. 
So, but I'm saying in 2004, when no Zoom, nothing, nothing was there. We didn't talk about online education also, but previous to that, I was visiting professors in Germany and we had a good contact. They said, we are going to give a proposal. Why don't you be an Indian partner? So I took my manufacturing department as a partner of this and applied for the first time it did not be successful. The second time it was successful. And that was to develop a protocol using the Java through net high band. At the time, high bandwidth was remote access. It was not, everyone was not having, but still we insisted on BSNL to give that in 2004. We got the high bandwidth uh, internet connectivity. And with the use of Java protocol, I hired two computer engineers to develop it. And the application was my students in the manufacturing department of College of Gindi, Anna University, could virtually enter the robotics lab in Germany as well as in Spain. And here they run the program and activate the robo in that place was operate. Like this, we had a CNC machine, computer memory controlled turning machine or drilling machine like this. We hold, put the job, everything ready. And from Spain, one uh, student or the scholars will run the program. Here, the machine will be running and doing like this. So this is the one what we developed in 2004. So like this afterwards, it was not picking up. Now we can think of doing such laboratory experiments through this virtual mode so that the students who are in the faraway places who may not have an access or who may not have facility or who won't have been dreamt of it can have this hands-on experiences. This will give a sort of a virtual hands-on experience that we can think of because today online education is just going on talking. But what about the practical mode that also we can do that. So in this way, this online education have a very good academical value, but still it has some problems. The main thing is interactivity and the student interaction like this. So that is why called today we call it's a blended mode. Today we talk about the blended mode. Using the blended mode, we can have this regular class as well as this type of uh, online classrooms can be established in this so that this will become very useful to this. We hope that this type of uh, uh, <clears throat> COVID problems will not appear again, but still we should prepare for it. And not only this, this video lectures on education will be helpful for the students. The, the staff member give all the lectures in a video mode, in a DVD or a pen drive. You can give it to the student, the students can listen or read just like a revision of the classrooms, whatever the teacher has taught in the classes. So this will be helpful for the students. Sometimes it can be used as a textbook itself, just like what we have a digital mode textbook in a computer or in your mobile phone, you read like this. So in this way, this uh, online education or this web-based education helps us to hone our skills and uh, augment the teaching capabilities. Teachers can further develop, go on to the research work because this has a lot of other research work capabilities. I used to always have the feel that uh, my motto is make it better. Wherever we are, we should work for, make the system still better. The Frederick Winslow Taylor, who is called as a father of scientific management in industrial engineering concept says, when he joined the Midwell company as a foreman, there were many machines, lathe, drilling machine, milling machine like this. And in a period of 12 years, he became the general manager of the company. He could elevate himself from the foreman to the general manager by accruing a lot of skills and developing like this only. At the time he said, the machines what were doing the job, for example, 10 components in one hour, still they are doing the 10 components in one hour, even after 12 years. But as a human being, I could elevate myself by improving the skills. So that's called the synergy effect. We human beings have a lot of potentials. Once you exercise the potentials, we can do amazing things. We should not feel that it's saturated. This is my level. No, it's always there is an opportunity for this. That is also today's world, in a competitive world, we follow like this. The Peter uh, Philip Kotler, you know very well, who is the father of marketing management. He says, to stand where you are, you should run. I'm talking for the students. I hope there are many students here. To stand where you are, you should run. Otherwise, you may have to run away. Somebody will occupy. Tamil is 
நீ நிற்கும் இடத்தை பிடித்துக் கொள்ள வேண்டும் என்றால் ஓடிக்கொண்டே இருக்க வேண்டும் இல்லை என்றால் அதை விட்டு ஓடிப்போக நேரிடும் வேறு யாராவது ஒருவர் அதை ஆக்கிரமித்துக் கொள்வார்கள் தட் ஹேப்பன்ஸ் எவ்ரி வேர் ஐ யூஸ் டு கிவ் அன் எக்ஸாம்பிள் டு மை ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஐ ஹோப் ஆல் ஆஃப் யூ ஹேவ் அட்லீஸ்ட் ஒன் அட்லீஸ்ட் ஒன் யூ மே பி ஃபீ ப்ரவுட் தட் சார் ஐ ஹாவ் டூ ஒன் இஸ் ஆப்பிள் அனதர் இஸ் ஆரஞ்ச் அனதர் சம்திங் லைக் திஸ் ஒன் இந்த இயர் டூ தௌசண்ட் ஐ பிகேம் தி டேரக்டர் director of the uh, aef for institute for cat cam 2000 i joined as a professor within about 3 or 6 months uh, professor kalanidhi who was a vice chancellor made me as a director of the anna university federal library in germany institute for computer design and computer manufacturing so at that time he gave the mobile phone to all the directors as well as head in 2000 the year 2000 i mean the fag end of 2000 owning a mobile phone in the year 2000 was uh, expensive not everyone had it because at that time the phone was costly more than that you had to pay even for the incoming calls not only for the outgoing calls incoming calls you have to pay and that's why many people don't take the phone, receive the call allah so why who is that and we can't sometimes save the names also today we can save the names but at the time we can't save the names also the name is naming even the names are contacts name 10 or 15 more than that you cannot save so you have to pay for the incoming calls so at that time what the phone was given to us a nokia 3310 please note that i am not the brand ambassador of nokia just i'm saying that so 3310 was given to us and everyone was happy he said at any time i will call you <laughs> then anyway we didn't bother about it. anyway you had a phone like this but you could not talk to everyone because my friends never had the phone at all those who had the phone are my colleagues only anyway i didn't, we didn't have much after about 3 and 1/2 years of successful functioning of the phone i was very happy with the phone even the basement or inside the air conditioned room the phone was receiving the calls and i would be able to speak after about 3 and 1/2 years what happened the battery went off so i took the phone to a nearby tinagar uh, mobile shop and showed him sir this phone i want a battery the like battery venum one the fellow looked at this side and that side sir are you still using the phone why this is before christ model <laughs> why are you saying like this is very good phone it's working nice yes yes it's working nicely but it's went out the company no get stopped the production so what can you do there are new mobiles phone come he showed me the one what he had is uh, only a black and white dials now these are color dials and he can store more than 100 names and contacts and there is a fm radio you can listen to the radio like this but you don't have that features i said sir still phone is perfect yes perfect but what to do it become outdated because competition to face a competition of samsung and other companies this uh, he has to modify it the new phone has come and what can you do can you do exchange yes 200 rupees i will say no no i will take the phone like that so what happened even on a mobile phone there are modification upgradation of it only then only will be able to withstand the competition market will have able the customer satisfaction like this so my dear young scholars after your phd everything you are going to enter the society there are a lot of competitions and to face the competitions you should update yourself that upgradation today the easy way and effective way is make use of the technology what is available and one such technology is now for everyone is a digital technology you need not to know about the coding or the programming somebody will do that but you should know how to have access how to make use of it how to apply how to get the required output from that so that is the role of you only you know very well so in this way the continuous upgradation is essential and wherever you go you should bring the glory to the ms swami northern foundations just like you know what is been of nokia kannam kannam nokia no it is not there there is a song <laughs> which song which movie students yeah yeah very good you have a bright future you have very good memory <laughs> so anyan what long back it came still you remember how how do you remember because of the visual media because today the visual media has a great effect in life the visual media is a part of this online education and the visual media also very impressive when we were there the beginning the those days there was a small video camera people used to stay the kadu uddu kamal ga kondu poka then it became the sd standard definition then the standard using high definition 
HD. I used to tell when he was a uh, vice chairman, HD high definition means H. Devraj, maybe the coincidence are like this. <laughs> then it became high definition, became ultra high definition, UHD. I, I used to tell him, sir, you know, see H. Devraj, UHD like this. Then UHD has become now HDR, high dynamic range. H. Devaraj, that's like, I used to say like this, HDR. See, the continuous one, it has become. So once you have the picturization with the HD camera, HDR, then the quality of the picture is good. How you are able to you go to a theater, the Vikram film, you compare the Vikram today, what was released today, and the old Vikram about 24, 25 years ago, you see the picture quality, it'll be different. Because that was in the ordinary camera, Sony. Today is the Alex area. There's HDR cameras. The picture quality is very good. Even the small hair become very prominent like this. And not only you should talk about the technology, but the technology should be made in a very interesting way. That means the narration, the teacher's narration, teacher's speaking, that's called, what is called pedagogy. How the teacher uses the pedagogy, the teaching methods. For example, the university, the university is giving the syllabus. But how the syllabus is taken to the class and taught. Just like I used to tell, just if you see a film, that is a story and there is a script. And how the script is narrated, that's called screenplay. Once a screenplay is good, just like Bhagiraj or Bharadiraj, the screenplay, a small situation, how they explain. The heroine, the heroine comes and meets, there should be a thrill. The heroine comes in search of the hero, the, she loses the bus. And even by some other best, the audience will be uh, shivering. See what will happen? She went to the wrong bus. This fellow went this side, whether they come or not. Then finally, they were united like this. So that is called the screenplay. So like that, the teacher should have the good screenplay skill. That's called pedagogy. So the pedagogy should be improved. That is uh, purpose of this. We are also going, we are planning for the, we have the UGC has given the HR, HR Human Resource Development Centers in that we are devising some methods how to improve the pedagogy or the teaching skills of the teachers. That next week we are going to have the uh, <coughs> inauguration of this uh, induction program for this. So the technology is there, it's a boon for us. How we make this or the boon for teachers and the students, it purely our interpersonal skills, how we perceive the concept, how we have that idea, how you implement it, how we handle, for that it should work. Technology will not do anything simply. But how, just like you have camera in this, how you take a picture, what angle you are taking, you spend some time like this for the education also, how you make use of the technology in an interesting way. And that makes the technology a fulfilled concept and application for you in teacher. This is what I want to say. And however, that should be quality, whatever you say the quality. I started with Ramayan, so I end with Ramayan. That's okay. Some of you may know that my colleagues, when I say the quality in Ramayana, my students asked, Sir, how, how do you say quality and Ramayana are connected? Then I said, the being I said, they went to Vanavasam 14 years. Now at the end of the 14 years or before the 14 years, the Sita was captured by Raman and taken to Sri Lanka. That Sri Lanka was different from today's Sri Lanka. That is, uh, and she was there. Then she was brought back and like this. Then the question was, how the quality means you go to the climax. I told my students, you go to the climax. Now Sita is in Ashokavan in the Sri Lanka. Sir, why? Why was she there? Why was she there? Because Ravan took her capture. Who is Ravan? She is a king of Sri Lanka. Tamil Vesla, English Okay. Why was it? And our sister Surpanage was insulted. Our Surpanaya was very insulted. Surpanaya was very insulted. Asakavanatla. See the Yare. See the Ayoti Ilavarasi. Ramada wife. So why should the princess go to forest? Because her husband went. Her husband went to the forest. Her husband went to the forest. His father instructed Dasarada, you should go to the forest for 14 years. Why should your father be for 14 years? He said, I don't know what he said. I don't know what he said. It's okay that somebody got like that. <laughs> so 
you know very well no first is kausalya the next is kaigai there is a subhatrai three and the subhatrai subhatra or uh, kausalya or kausalya or uh, what is other name will be there adu mari per ellarku oppanga inga kuda irukalam subhatra yaradu irukalam kausalya irukalam ana kaigai ni yaarku vekka matanga yaaru na paathadhu kediyad kaigai kaigai yaar is why second one why should she give the பிகாஸ் கைகேயை வந்து தசரதை காப்பாற்றினாங்க அவன் இது காப்பாற்றினாங்க ஒரு ஃபிளாஷ் பேக்ல இன்னொரு ஃபிளாஷ் பேக் தட் மீன்ஸ் ஒரு வார் நடக்குது அந்த வார்ல த ஃபைட் தசரதா ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டே வென்ட் அண்ட் இ ஃபாட் மெனி பீப்புள் ஒரு கில் நிறைய பேர் இறந்துட்டாங்க மறுநாள் அந்த எதிரி நாட்டு மன்னம் வாரம் அப்ப இவர் போய் அம்பு போட்டு சண்டை போடணும் மார்னிங் கிளம்புறாரு கிளம்பு பார்த்தா அவரோட தேரோட்டி த டிரைவர் புட் ஆன் லீவ் மேபி கேஷுவல் லீவ் ஆர் மெடிக்கல் லீவ் புட் ஆன் லீவ் லீவ் போட்டார் லீவ் போட்டு போகணும்னா இப்போ யார் ஓட்டு ஏன்னா ஒரு நம்பிக்கையான டிரைவர் தான் வேணும் எங்களுக்கெல்லாம் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா கிளம்போது வழக்கமாக ஒரு டிரைவர்லாம் புது டிரைவர் வந்தால் பிரச்சனை எங்களுக்கு ஏன்னா ரூட் சொல்லியே மாறாது எங்களுக்கு ஸோ அவருக்கு இப்போ நல்ல நம்பிக்கையான டிரைவர் இப்போ ஃபைனல் டே வந்துருச்சு ஃபைட்டு எப்படி போடுறது நம்பிக்கையான ர ரத ஓட்டணுமே தேர் யார் அப்போ கைகை சொல்கிறார் நான் வர்றேன் அப்போ தான் கைகை பற்றி டீட்டெயில்ஸ் கைகைக்கு ரத ஓட்ட தெரியுமா ஸ்டூடெண்ட் கேட்குறான் ஆமாம் கைகை வந்து செவன் பிரதர்ஸோட பிறந்தார் ஏழாவது பிரதரும் இவளும் வந்து ட்வின்ஸ் அதனால ஏழு பிரதருக்கு அந்த கைகையை நாட்டு மன்னன் என்னென்னலாம் ட்ரைனிங் அந்த மகன்கள் கொடுத்தானோ அதே ட்ரைனிங்கை வந்து மல்யுத்தம் வீரம் வீர வில்வித்தை போரிடுதல் சண்டை போடுதல் எல்லாத்தையுமே இந்த மாவும் கற்றுக் கொடுத்துருக்காங்க ஸோ அதனால தான் வந்து ஒரு அவர் கல்யாணம் பண்ணதாக ஒரு கதை சொல்லுவாங்க ஸோ ஷி நோஸ் அதில் ஒரு ஸ்கில் என்னென்னா ரதம் ஓட்டுறது அது கைகையை சொல்கிறா மகாராஜா நான் ரதம் ஓட்டுவேன் நீங்கள் வாங்க நீங்கள் வில்லு அப்போ போட்டுகிட்டே இருக்கு நான் ரதம் ஓட்டிகிட்டே போகிறேன்னா அவருக்கு தெரியும் ஓகே உன்னையோட ரிலேபிள் யாருமே இல்லை வா போகலாம்னு சொல்லிட்டு இந்த மா ரதம் ஓட்டுது போயிட்டு யூனோ வெரி வெல் வேகமாக போகும்போது அந்த ரதம் அந்த தேர் சக்கரம் வந்து ஒரு இதில் சிக்கிருது ஒரு பள்ளத்தில் விழுந்து பள்ளத்தில் சிக்கி விழுந்த உடனே விழுந்த அதிர்ச்சியில் உடஞ்சி போயிருக்கு எதிரி மன்னன் வர்றான் த ஃபெலோ இஸ் த அப்பனர் கிங் இஸ் கமிங் தட் கார்ஸ் கார்ட் ஸ்டக் த வீல் வாஸ் ப்ரோ என்ன பண்ணுது வீல் ஓடாதே உடனே இந்த அம்மா ஹிஷியாஸ் ஆல்ரெடி த ஆம் ஸ்ட்ராங் உங்களுக்கு ஆம் ஸ்ட்ராங் ஒரு ஃப்ரெண்ட் இருக்காரு ஸ்ட்ராங் ஆம் உடனே இந்த அம்மா என்ன பண்ணாங்கன்னா கை கை அது கீழே இறங்கி இந்த ரதத்தை அப்படியே தூக்கி குதிரையை தள்ளிட்டு இழுத்துட்டு போய் ஒரு காரணில் விட்டுட்டு இப்போ நீங்கள் அம்பு போடுங்கன்னு சொல்லுங்க ஸோ அம்பு போட்டு ஜெயிச்சிட்டாங்க எதிரி இறந்துட்டான் உடனே இ வாஸ் வெரி ஹாப்பி தென் உனக்கு என்ன வேணும் கேளுங்க எனக்கு வரம் வேணும் ரெண்டு வரம் மூணு வரம் எடுத்து சொல்லுங்க என்ன வரம் நான் இப்போ சொல்ல மாட்டேன் நேராக வரும்போது சொல்கிறேன் சொல்லிட்டு தான் நேராக வரும்போது இந்த மகாரா ராமர் வந்து பட்டத்துக்கு வரும்போது சொல்லுது இந்த தான் நேராக வந்து சொல்லி உன் மகன் ராமன் பட்டம் தரிக்கக்கூடாது என் மகன் பரதன் அடுத்த வரம் அவன் பதினாலு வருஷம் காட்டுக்கு போகணும் அது வரைக்கும் இவன் தான் இருப்பான் அதனால தான் அவர் வந்து கதைக்கு வரோம் சொல்லணும் சொல்ல அப்போ பதினாலு வருஷம் அதனால தான் போக சொன்னார் இப்போ கையைக்கு வரம் கொடுக்கலைனா போயிருக்க மாட்டா கையைக்கு ஏன் வரம் கொடுத்தாரு ஏன்னா தேர் சக்கரை உடஞ்சி போச்சு சக்கரை ஏன் உடஞ்சது புவர் குவாலிட்டி மெட்டீரியல் குவாலிட்டி அந்த டே அன்னைக்கு மட்டும் அந்த தேர் சக்கரம் நல்ல குவாலிட்டி இன்னைக்கு மாதிரியா வீல்ஸ் இண்டியா டிவிஎஸ் மாதிரியா இன்னைக்கு நம்ம காருக்கு போட்ட அலாய் வீல் மாதிரியா ஒரு ட்ராக்ல ஒரு நல்ல வீலை போட்டுருந்தோம்னா சக்கரை உடஞ்சிருக்காது கை கை வரம் வாங்கியிருக்க மாட்டேன் ராமாயணம் இவ்வளோ தூரத்துக்கு வந்திருக்கும் செய்யா ஸோ குவாலிட்டி கான்செப்ட்ஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் வாட் எவர் யூ ஹேவ் வெதர் யூ ஹேவ் எ டிஜிட்டல் ஆர் ஆன்லைன் எனி திங் ப்ளீஸ் நோட் தேட் there should be quality quality speaks a lot i am sure that ms swamin of the foundation will be the broad will be a top level institute as in agriculture and science and i insist you should make use of technology whatever it's possible even though we are not that much technology advanced but i am still insisting on this in this university of madras hope we'll be able to collaborate with you as you expect and i wish the students should learn more and more through online as well as regular and bring glory to this wonderful institute wish you all the best thank you very much <laughs> please note this is an extempore i didn't have any preparations i didn't have any preparation i didn't have time if i had an emrc i would have brought a video put lectures because there i was very very happy very liberal <laughs> but here hectic load no time to make any powerpoint like this so just like when i just when i came here i felt i was a fifth standard student went to write the examination unprepared like that i gave in <laughs> section unprepared thank you very much
all unprepared students do so well then <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Uh, please look at me. Thank you so much, uh, Professor Gauri. I think uh, we didn't feel that difference at all. It was uh, really very interesting and inspiring. And I think the way you connected to the historical uh, part and I think the way you engaged the audience, I think was very much appreciated. Thank you so much for giving us this lecture and talk. I think now we'll invite um, uh, Professor Madhura Swaminathan to um, take uh, the interaction questions that come from the audiences and chair the uh, session. We'll also in between take some if there are online yes, yes. available. Uh, thank you. So online questions, if there are, please inform uh, Sangeeta. Uh, but before opening the floor for discussion, I'd just like to make a few remarks. Um, I think, uh, you know, we're very lucky. We have people, as he said, like uh, Professor Gauri, who had thought about MOOCs. I mean, all these terms are new for us. They have come in the last two years, but you have been living with this. And uh, huge, enormous uh, resources that we now find are, you know, we wonder how we managed without them and listen to lectures, as you said, from Nobel laureates to anybody else and learning. So two things I want to say. One is that, you know, at MSSRF, use of ICT, information communication technology, as you know, uh, Professor Swaminathan was very keen right from the beginning and what he realized is that this has a potential to be used by people who are not literate or not highly educated. So by using uh, voice messages, nowadays we can use SMS, but in those days for Fisher folk, uh, they may not be able to read. So using voice, mess, you know, from that, using technology for computers, using voice messages. Now we have moved to tablets, we have a program called Plant Clinics, where information on pest disease can be accessed by farmers through tablets, where the tablet is loaded with all the existing scientific information on those particular uh, questions. So as the technology changes, digital technology, uh, now we have uh, a team developing a Pannai app for measuring the water depth and water uh, you know, uh, constraints, soil in the soil, an app that can tell you about soil moisture and other features. So we are also learning and um, sir, we definitely want to be with you since you have experience in this, in taking this forward. Uh, not only, yes, very much for school and college students. Uh, we have a smart lab. If you have time, uh, Dr. Parshraman will show you. Um, where which we have uh, just instigated, which is new to me also that, you know, you write on the computer and everything comes on the screen uh, with uh, various uh, uh, new technologies. This is a program we are running for every child a scientist for school students of Tamil Nadu government schools in, uh, in Chennai with the cooperation and uh, to bring the, to bring science alive for them. Uh, so, in this online education, we would like to partner with you. And uh, we have been thinking that in various uh, fields, there is a practical experience that our scientists have. For example, in biodiversity conservation or in adaptation to climate change. So this system of courses and credits, I think it's a very good innovation which has come to India. We can discuss this later, not in this fora, but uh, in running these courses, uh, some certificate courses or special modules or credit, if we could run with our experience uh, in, with the field to enrich the theoretical uh, experience. So uh, in taking online technology and education to farmers, particularly poor farmers, tribal farmers, women farmers, and in uh, you know, developing uh, courses where our field experience, our practical experience can come into use. We very much look forward to during your tenure to strengthen this relationship with uh, Madras University. Uh, I will now open the floor for questions, but I have one question, which has always concerned, you know, worried me. When we have, uh, I teach in the university system also, we have cl classes, one hour or 45 minutes, you find that the concentration of the student is, you know, after, definitely after 45 minutes, if not earlier, starts waning. 
So in this online and MOOC classes, is there a, how does one know what is the ideal uh, time length and is, the, is that different from the in-person classes? How do you, or does it depend on subject matter with your experience? Is, uh, uh, each model we have designed to 30 to 35 minutes, not more than that. But to make it interesting, I told you, you know, the pedagogy, yeah. how you narrate, how we are linking with the other type of uh, uh, case studies or practical examples or your own experience or even from movies. Because we had a training in 2007, uh, leadership communication in I am Ahmedabad. And in that, uh, some of the lectures still remember they screened the video clips. And with that, there was explanation, case studies were discussed. So the cinema, a good concept, you can take a lot of things from the films, plus own experience, case studies. Now these video clippings are everywhere available and take that so that will become very interesting. So there should not be a mere monologue. That should be an interactive session with experience and everything. I'm sure the 30 minutes plus even 10 minutes also possible, provided you give a storyboard. We used to always call, say, say in our MOOCs courses, uh, the storyboard, like that, we can have a storyboard that can be make it interesting. Thank you. Uh, any uh, questions from the floor? Any comments or sir? questions, remarks? Sangeeta, is there anything online? Yeah. Actually, this is a new online teaching is new for all of us. So I think there are <laughs> any, uh, even from the students, your uh, problems with online education or constraints or questions, please uh, feel free to ask. So there are only some comments online about yeah, read, expressing yeah. how interesting it is. Can you read it out, uh, Sankita? Um, yeah, so um, it, it says that uh, uh, I hope Sir linked the Puranas and Bible quotations uh, gave, gave enough scope for online media and science education. Uh, Ten Commandments examples, uh, example helps to know cloud concepts. So great, <laughs> sir. So I think that I think the way you have connected has resonated with a lot of people. So most interesting and informative. Thank you, sir. There is one commenter. Again, again, another one on, thank you, sir. It's been wonderful and interesting lecture. Another one also on thanking you uh, for the uh, talk, the lecture. So these are the comments that have come on the chat. From here, um, would anybody like to ask a question, please, and to the speaker? Yeah. Sir, I I just want to know, I have uh, for 10 years back, I have written a project to the US Embassy regarding sustainable energy. See, in that I found out we have shortage of natural gas and uh, we, uh, we don't have awareness in urban areas also. So I suggested print social, economic, electronic, mid India. How is awareness now, sir? Now, uh, at that time it written. Uh, so I want to know what is the current situation in India? How we can... Uh, uh, no, what is the question? Awareness about what? what Awareness in the urban areas. About? Uh, the, the energy is a conservation. Energy conservation. No, I don't have much idea about this energy conservation, what is there. But today we talk about this uh, yeah. non-conventional or uh, renewable yeah. energy sources. That yeah. we focus on that. Okay. So that's all only. And every university, UGC has mentioned that uh, each institution should have the energy audit. Okay. Even for this, we go for NAC or NRF, the okay. institution should have done the energy audit. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, that becomes a must for this energy. Energy crisis has become a must. So okay. once so, it starts from the institution level, naturally that will get geared it, up so that yeah. it can have the importance. Least, uh, the buildings, I think many buildings in Bangalore, that they have gone for some uh, triple restoring something. I heard that mm -hmm. many yeah. buildings have uh, yeah. started yeah. that many buildings also the new architectural concepts that means make use of the natural lighting natural sources yeah make use of the natural products yeah, i yeah. think so oh. for example uh, you need not to have a air condition this much in this yeah. room, provided there is a natural <laughs> ventilation uh, designed yeah. for this uh, yeah for example when you go to a temple for example yeah or maybe a church or anything i'm not uh, specifying that the entrance when you, 
front of the temple is open space then okay. there's a small passage yeah and once you go inside you'll feel cool <laughs> yeah that is called venturi action sir you if you go to the velacheri mrts perungodi uh -huh. they are based on they are constructed based on british time mm -hmm. more ventilation is there yes. compared to other mrt yeah. station it's good than malapur or other yeah. so that's simple measures will uh, that is make venturi it. action for example in college of engineering gindi yeah of course yeah, i have been to online university those days it was madras university only. yeah i have been to two or three yeah. times yes yeah, so. that inside you will feel very cool yeah. there is no even at the hot summer outside <laughs> i will feel sweating like this once you go inside that uh, building yeah it will become very cool like this because of the venturi action natural ventilation sure so sure will revive that concept yeah that mm. that's why we are planning madras university is planning according to the uh, faculties available in the fine arts architecture yeah, yeah. so hope uh, we are working for that the next year we'll be able to introduce architecture yeah sure, okay. sure. Thank, thank you for your thank you for me. thank you uh, so there is one question on the pedagogy for school um, uh, education because has been you've been, you've been talking about um, the university level education and how you develop models but then what about schools and school children so there's a question on that madam the school children most of them like this body language the teachers if the teacher in a dancing way like that say one two three like that they remember well because this movement of the teacher uh, the body language uh, gives much impact in the school because i was a uh, secretary for anna jam science park school of anna university that is uh, next to anna university and just the uh, next to compound of uh, my uh, quarters i was there for 7 years i used to see that the kids from lkg ukg first and up to third standard like the third or fourth standard they like this type of a body language the teachers the teacher dances and say something and the kids like it they don't laugh the teachers and they like it and they listen that's a thing we may laugh at the teacher dancing like but for them it's a part of the learning system like this because the their uh, psychological aspects like this the dance or tell stories or songs singing songs like this only it is important for them like that we can also we have it the songs or any film songs are always carry message for example our vittil periyavanga solvanga and the kaalam paattu mariya varumaya appadi அந்த காலத்து பாட்டு எப்படி இருந்தது பாலும் பழமும் கைகளில் ஏந்தி பவள வாயில் புண்ணகி சிந்தி கோலமையில் போல் நீ வருவாயே கொஞ்சம் கிளியே அமைதி கொள்வாயே லைக் த தெர் சாங் பட் ஹஸ்பண்ட் சிங்ஸ் ஃபார் த வை வென் ஷி சிக் ஆனா இன்னைக்கு ஹஸ்பண்ட் ஒய்ஃப் பாடுற படமே இல்லை என்னைக்கு ஹஸ்பண்ட் ஒய்ஃப் ஆனாலும் படம் முடிஞ்சு போயிடுது பட் ஸ்டில் தெர் ஆர் குட் கான்செப்ட் ஃப்ரம் த சாங்ஸ் ஓன்லி திங் வீ ஹாவ் டு டிக் இட் அண்ட் ஃபைண்ட் இட் ஜஸ்ட் லைக் டேட்டா மைனிங் யூ ஹாவ் டு ஃபைண்ட் த கான்செப்ட் மைனிங் அன்னைக்கு பா படத்துல வந்து எல்லாமே இருந்தது இருந்தது ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் இதுக்கு அவர் யங் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் மேனும் அரபி குத்து கல்வி இன்னும் விச் மூவி அரபி குத்து சாங் அல்லாமதி ஹபிபோ நோபடி ஆஸ் சாங் பாத்திரிக்கலா என்ன படம் we is very good that's the arabic kutu alamati habiba because we have arabic teacher jagir husain i asked sir what is alamati habiba means habib means friend alamati habiba means is my good friend like that he says or she says but he said there are other words in arabic uh, that is very colloquial sir but uh, if you come outwards there are very good meaning in the song the students i will ask forget about the friend benches <laughs> students and the body are para who is singing the song in the movie anirudh anirudh ramachandran is singing the song that's a male voice the female voice no oh, but uh, ck is poor cinema knowledge is poor okay i am a media person that is by jonita gandhi she is a gujarati settled in canada her parents are singers adanal va potade and the song and the part elunadu yare எஸ்கே சிவகார்த்திகன் எஸ்கேல தான் சொன்னாங்க இட்ஸ் வெரி குட் சார் அதுல வரும் கடைசி வருது ஜாலி ஜாலி வெக்கத்துல மயங்குற தோழி தட் மீன்ஸ் அவர் படுற மேல் வாய்ஸ் ஜாலியா இருக்குது அந்த தோழி மயங்குறது வெக்கத்துல அவருக்கு ஜாலியா இருக்கிறான் உடனே இந்த ஃபீமேல் வாய்ஸ் சொல்லுது காலி காலி மொத்தத்தில் அவனும் தான் காலி அப்ப அவனும் தான் காலி முன்னால யாரு காலியானா இந்த வெக்கத்துல மயங்கனா பாத்தீங்களா அவ காலி அடுத்து வருது ஃபீமேல் வாய்ஸ் ஜாலி ஜாலி அடி போலி தட் மீன்ஸ் போலி இட்ஸ் நாட் ஒரிஜினல் நீ ஜாலி ஜாலி என்ன நினைக்கிறியோ இது எல்லாமே போலி ஸோ வாட் இஸ் ரியல் டூ த ஒர்க் ஸ்டடி வெல் அட்டன் கிளாஸ் கெட் அ குட் ஜாப் மேரி லைஃப் தேட் இஸ் ரியல் மற்றபடி நினைக்கிற ஜாலி எல்லாமே அடி போலி முடிஞ்சு போகுது அகைன் லிசன் த சாங் 
what i say is right so like that idu mari la sonna na students will be interesting pathina pa sola sola ketta irukan pathina thank you okay last uh, sir uh, really enjoyed uh, your presentation just what is your thought on presenting science education in the local vernacular languages and how much importance should the government actually give to that because i think when you, you you talking of connecting with people i think connecting in their own language is also equally important so uh, do you think the government should take steps to present science in vernacular languages in the kegram yeah yeah you can yeah yeah it's very good see ugc during the pandemic mhrd ugc instituted all the emmrc through cec then cec is my concerned for educational communication and it is the center of ugc under which there are 20 emmrc during the pandemic lockdown i told you know we are working there was a continuous webinar and uh, mhrd and ugc insisted that whatever the video lectures available in english or hindi should be translated into regional languages and one such language was eight languages one such language what we did was in tamil so that translation dubbing was done in by madras university madurai kamaraj and pandicherry like that many such lectures models were translated translate means it's a dubbed because the video lecture originally by somebody they speak in english and i gave my voice for dubbing my voice over for a professor of impal university on interactive marketing management i gave voice over in tamil like that many video lectures were uh, translated dubbed in tamil voice but during the dubbing or voice over i found it very difficult because he is speaking in english and i have to speak in tamil for the same lip movement within the same time duration we had a software i was sitting and doing that sometimes i will my voice will jump jump means he will complete by the time i will be talking or sometimes his original voice recorded will be jump that means i will complete but his voice will be continuing so the synchronization the lip movement that should be um, synchronized but we could do it successfully later you may amaze that on 21st of august 20, 2020 i became the vice chancellor until the before day 20th of august my last job is anna news team was he was dubbing artist <laughs> i did my <laughs> i come because knew that the next day i can't come and give my voice i be the vice chancellor so i complete the job and gave so it is interesting giving a voice over and now i understand that there is a software developed by this nitt uh, that's called uh, triple it in uh, hyderabad and iit metra there is software you give your english audio then whichever language you want that will be translated given to you. but still we have to synchronize with the lip movement that is some editing audio editing is required so audio we used to have the video editing but now with this we have the audio editing the audiography has become very important have i answered my your question madam thank you I, there are lots of comments and questions more um, on uh, online also but i think we have to close this session and uh, uh, i'm very happy to talk about cinema or song Yeah, yeah. Oh, he has shown that he's a good communicator. Yeah. But the fact that uh, everybody in this room I is smiling. As soon as beginning, huh? I didn't think of even applying for VC post because during <laughs> the pandemic, I used to go to I call him Manna only go to house and uh, chat like this. Then he said, "Gauri, that our application has come. Someone, some of his friend has asked for a recommendation, referee for this advertisement. You print it and give it the letterhead because when I was vice chairman, I printed, designed the letterhead." so far his friend i designed the, uh, the design letter head and printed the uh, testimonial and gave it to him he signed and gave it to the friend then he said the letter head your design is very nice gauri your drafting is good why can't you make one for you then he said why should i go to anna madras university i am thinking of anna university already two times i was rejected like this I, I said, no no today we got qs ranking it is because of your initiative that i should say so Uh, that's why we applied and still he said i i was not uh, having a very hope because already two times i was rejected i went up to the three member panel to the governor chancellor office those days and i was not selected alaga pana you know it's like that i didn't have the hope then he said if the destiny is for you you will get 
still I remember. Then we just applied. I gave it to the person. People asked when I became the vice chancellor, sir, how much you have spent? And I said, in students Xerox, I spent about 676 rupees and courier about 100 rupees. So totally 776 rupees, <laughs> beyond which I could not reduce it. That is the amount of what I spent for the VC post like this. So this is how. So, so what I want to convey this is students, you have continuous perseverance. There may be rejections. There may be insult. Or money than a vetric penal Kadina Ulepa Matamala, Avan Sindhi, Verva, Ratama, Vanakin, the Oman Angle, Seramangal, Nirahari Pugal, Elite. Still, we should have the hope. Wish you all the best. Uh, thank you, uh, Professor Gauri, uh, for enthusing students. And uh, uh, we are not going to, we are going to keep this communication and connectivity going between us. And Dr. Devaraj is so happy you have been able to come today also and be part of this session. No, no, thank you. And I think our university system, although is slowly is now modifying and changing and again perhaps the pandemic has pushed some of these changes like credits from different places and online courses and all that which have been initiated by people who were before there before us so thank you all again and i now hand over to sangeeta uh, yeah so i'll give you the formal uh, thank you uh, Professor Gauri, and thank you so much for being an inspiration, I think, to all the students and not just the students, and I'm sure even the first few benches here. So thank you very much for the most interesting speech and the way you've connected uh, the current situation to the past and brought us through mythology to here. I think that was a very nice narrative which we will take forward, I'm sure. I also thank you to all the participants who, who were online and for engaging in the um, dialogue with the speaker. Thanks for, for the ones who have asked the questions and brought some clarity on the subject as well. So thank you to Dr. Madhura Swaminathan for chairing the session and Dr. Hari Haran as well. So have a good day. Thank you. We have tea served outside as well. So please join us. Yeah. We'll have a group photo as well outside for the wheel done and then move for, for tea after that. Is that okay? <laughs>